We're back. I accidentally exited out. So just to recap, the last thing we had did, we, we adjusted was the add type to the width to 3.5, then select the entire table. I clicked this center to center um, within the, the table, but they want this one here, align center left. So click that. Then click anywhere to deselect. And now we're going to sort. So anywhere, you can be anywhere you want in the table. So anywhere in the table, make sure you're at the table layout tab and click sort. And I'm just going to move this down for a second. We have column headings, format, venue, add type, and cost. So we have column headings. So make sure you click my list has color, column um, headed row. Then we are going to automatically will sort by this very first column, which is format, which is fine. But instead of in alphabetic order, A to Z, we're going to choose descending, Z to A. If there are two items that have the same category, then we want it to look at cost. So make sure you click then buy and choose the cost column. It should automatically change the type to number because it's all numbers. And again, make sure it's in descending order and then go ahead and click OK, and it put it in descending order, so the S is first, then P and D, and then when you look at the two signs, it's in numeric order, the highest to the lowest, same thing with print, and the same thing with digital. So now we're going to select, we don't need the for the format, sign, sign, so select both of them, and what we're going to do is what's called merge, to make them one. And then double click, we don't need the word sign twice, double click the very first one and then just press delete. And do the same thing for print, select both prints, merge cells. The book has you just type over it, so you would just, just don't delete anything, just type print and that takes care of it. So then do the same thing for the three for digital, merge, and it's your choice. Do you want to just delete the first two or do you want to just type digital? Either way, you should have it right in the middle there. Click in the cell that has NewYorkTimes.com, and then you're going to choose Insert Below, and it inserts a new row below. Then we'll select the first three, leaving the, the cost one by itself, and we'll choose Merge Cells. And in that first cell, we're going to choose Split Cells, and we want one column but we want three rows and then click OK and then do the same thing for the cost split cells you want one column but three rows and OK click in that first new row on the left and type total cost and then press tab and we wanted to add everything above. So believe it or not, I know we're in Word, but it does have a um, section for formulas and it will create some formulas. It's not as technical and reliable as uh, Excel, but you don't have to pull out a calculator. So in that cell up at the top in the layout tab, there's actually a formula button. So go ahead and click that. It knows to add equal sum above. It'll add everything above and just click OK. And there you have it. And then we're going to click um, the, the cell above it. So I just clicked into title, tile 100,000 impressions and just press tab so it selects that one. And we're going to type in a new figure, 9,500. The only thing that doesn't happen with Word as an Excel, the new amount that we put in would automatically change the total. So what we have to do is press your down arrow and it's, it highlights the cell, right click and choose update field. And then it changes the figure. So you just have to manually tell it to update. It won't do it automatically. So then we'll press tab and we'll type budgeted. Tab and this amount will actually type in and then tab and this one is difference 
and tab, and it will do a calculation for us. So again, formula button, and then select this because we don't want a um, sum above. What we want to do, and it's just like Excel, you need an equal sign, B9 minus B10. And this is considered, this is A and this is B, and then if you count the rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, it'll subtract eight and um, the two between nine and ten. Those two. And there we go. Click OK. And you should have negative 1,600. Now we'll work on the design of this table. So again, make sure you're anywhere in the table. And we're at layout, so make sure you choose tab table design. And then there's what's called table styles. Click the down arrow with, for more options. And we, we're looking for list, so this is grid, down here is list, and they want list, table, so list, table, two, list, table, two, accent, one. There we go, list, table, two, accent, one. Nice. Then you have, so some are, are, they call them banded rows and columns, so they're every other shadings. And you'll click over in the left-hand side at the top of this ribbon. It's called Table Style Options. And you're just viewing what you see, and then when we check something to clear it, so for the first one, we're going to take uh, off the check on first column, and it's going to take off, if you notice, all the different shadings, so it's all the same. And then we'll also clear the banded rows. So once you check it, you'll see what happens. So it doesn't have that shading every other. And then we'll choose, um, make sure that the banded columns checks box is selected. So the only two that we cleared was first column and banded rows. And now we're going to click the first column to reselect it. And then the banded columns will take off. So it's a lot of back and forth, but you're just clicking them to see what happens. But in the end, you should have a header row and first column, and all that's doing is putting it in bold. Then you'll click the, the um, design. I know this is confusing because there's table design, but you're going to go to design and actually change the theme color to green. Then we'll go back to Table Tools Layout, and then we want to view the grid lines. It's hard to see that there's lines on the outside here, so if you click View Grid Lines, you get to see the lines within the cells. And then we'll click again the entire table and align center left. So I, I knew we'd be doing this again. Then we'll select the format column. So hover to the top. So you just select the format column and you'll choose a line center button in the middle. Select the cost column with that little arrow. And this one is going to be a line center right. That way the, the commas are aligned. Then, if you notice down at the bottom, total cost, budget, and difference, that's in bold, but the numbers aren't. So we're going to select all three rows and go back to the Home tab. Now, if I choose bold, it's going to take it off once, but if I click it again, it then will do all of them. So it should be all in bold. With the last three rows still selected, you'll choose Align Center Right, so it moves over the items. Select the first row of the table and choose the Center button. Then we'll choose the font size and change it to 12. and then click anywhere. And 
Next, we'll select both format and venue, the two cells at the top, and we're going to merge those two. So make sure your table layout button is selected and choose merge cells. And you're going to change the name. It's going to be add location. Select sign, print, and digital, and we'll select text direction. Click it twice. Once it shows it going up, down, and then we want it from down, up. So now what we're going to do is this column is kind of wide. It's a half inch. So we're going to hover to the edge of the um, border and look again for those double arrows. And you're going to go to a quarter of an inch. So you make it very narrow. Click just sign so that you're in the sign cell. And again, this I would if we were doing this in class, I'd say pick any color, but because we have to submit this to um, Cengage, we have to be um, exact. So we're in the, the um, just the cell that says sign, and we're going to select the table tools design tab and the shading arrow. We are selecting lime accent two. Then in the print, the, this one will be teal accent four, not dark teal. The last one. So it is the dark teal. I was looking for just teal. Dark teal accent four. And then digital is turquoise accent six. Last one. Yep. Select the header row. And you can click the shading right here in the mini toolbar. And they want green accent one. Green accent one. Then if you choose the down arrow for borders. And let me just come back here. They also want the font change. So if you go back home and choose the down arrow for font, this is white background one. And I'm going to stop here because I'm going to run out of time. And we'll finish with part three.